Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I was coming to do a video on some of the gluten-free um, items I bought this week um, for my daughter. My daughter, she um, has allergies, she's allergic to wheat. Um, so I've been, when I first heard she was allergic to wheat, I thought, get white bread, you know. So I start, when I start reading the packages, white bread had wheat in it. It seemed like everything had wheat in it. So I started doing research and um, they were saying, you know, substitute it with the gluten-free. Now some of the items say gluten-free and some say gluten-free and wheat-free. So that's um, kind of confusing to me because I would wonder why wouldn't all of them say gluten and wheat-free. Um, but anyway, so that's what I've been doing and I've been trying to... Um, transition as many of the items that we um, my whole family eats as well so when I make um, dinner or food I'm not making a pasta for her or oatmeal for her and oatmeal for us you know so that we can all combine them together so um just gonna share a few things with you so I'm gonna first start with these because they're all gone <laughs> and these are char honey grams gluten free wheat free Graham style crackers and they love these these are really delicious so they're all gone and it comes in a pack of they're like three individual packs and in each pack there might be like six or five or six graham crackers so it's pretty small like I say once they um they just tear these up so and this, everybody likes these. So, like I say, these are them. They are really good. Um, I'm going to first show you the things that we've tried already. Um, this is her bread. Now, this is um, half gone. I do have a, I bought another pack and it's in the freezer. So, this is her bread. I keep it in the refrigerator. And it is soft and delicious white sandwich bread. And it's gluten free. And this one I got from a health food store right up the street. But the other one that I bought yesterday, I got it from Whole Foods. And I can't remember the prices. Was there a drastic difference or if they were the same price? And that was my purpose of going to both so I can make sure. Um, so I got to pay attention again to the prices so I'll know where to get more and, you know, what's my best buy. But anyway, so this is the bread. And... It's really thick and fluffy and it's thick. It's kind of, it's a strange texture, but it tastes just like bread. Um, I made her, I made, I make her like some turkey sandwiches. Today she took grilled cheese for lunch and we, she had grilled cheese for lunch last night as a snack. So she really, she tore it up. So I was excited when she's real picky and this seems like, I don't know if she doesn't have enough time to eat at lunch, but she comes home with half of her lunch. She said, I didn't have enough time. She's probably talking too much. And she's going to drink her drink, eat her sn her snacks before she eats the actual sandwich. So that's why she doesn't have time to eat it. So anyway, the bread is good. Um, the gra graham crackers are good. And these I purchased yesterday. Some short. These are by Char as well. And these are shortbread cookies. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. Let me try it. But my son tried it, my husband tried it, and my daughter tried it. So they all tried it. These are good. Really good. Just like a shortbread cookie. Really good. So they like these. And here my husband. Because <laughs> so I was making his lunch this morning. And he was like, ooh, let me taste. I'm like, uh, chill. Because they will eat up all her stuff, you know. I know eventually... Some of the things that I'm going to get for all of us. But good gosh, y'all. You know, let the girl have her own little stuff, right? So, um, those are good. And the cookies and graham crackers have like a flakier, like they break apart easier. But that's tasty. You can tell a little difference, like a little grain or some, you know, within the texture. And that's the same way with the graham cracker. But they're really, they're good. That's tasty. Now, oh, here's another one that we've had so far. Is the um, gluten 
wheat-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, old-fashioned roll oats. So I wanted to get her a substitute for oatmeal because that was another thing. Um, made her oatmeal one day and I noticed she just started coughing. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, so she's allergic to the oatmeal because I'm sure there's some kind of wheat in the oatmeal. So, um... And that's her her allergic reaction, whereas maybe some people may whip up or like with fish or other things. Her allergic reaction is respiratory. So she'll begin to cough, you know, have like sim symptoms of an asthma attack. Okay. So um, um, I purchased this from the health food store up, up the street. And I made her some yesterday morning for breakfast. And it was really, it tastes just like our regular oatmeal. Seemed like it took a while to cook. And I followed the exact directions. Which is something I don't do. Followed exact directions. And it took a long time for the water um, to boil. So maybe next time instead of two cups of water. I'll use one and a half cups of water. But it was really good. So this will be um, the oatmeal. We more than likely will substitute for our other oatmeals. To make sure like I say everything across the board. Is wheat and gluten free, so I'm not making two old meals or buying two. You know, really, what's the reason? Um. Okay. So I have three items we haven't tried, and for the um the sandwich bread, I also purchased. Um. That was like last week. I bought her some hot dog buns. The same, the Udi's um brand. I was looking for hamburger buns. Because we were having Sloppy Joe and they didn't have it. So I did the hamburger bun, I mean the hot dog buns, and I cut them in half. So like made her little um, mini um, Sloppy Joe sandwiches. Um, okay, so the next thing we have are these vanilla wafers. And she has them. You know we've seen these in the, you've seen these in the store. I had them. They come in like strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Now, she's never had these, so I don't know how she'll do. My son didn't even know what they were. I was like, you've never seen these before, you know, this kind. Before he said no. Now, my husband, I know he will know. I don't even think he paid attention to them. But we haven't opened this yet, so we haven't tried it. And this is well, is as well, gluten-free, wheat-free vanilla wafers. And they are by Char. So I'll let you know how those are um, when we taste them. The other thing is, <clears throat> so I was looking for pasta, okay, um, some pastas, because we eat pasta quite often, she loves pasta, and um, I, the other, you know, thing I'll make um, is spaghetti squash, and it's really good, it tastes like spaghetti, you wouldn't know that it was a vegetable, so, um, and I went to get some yesterday. The stores I went to didn't have it. So I will have to probably go to um, Food for Less. Because Walmart didn't even have it. But anyway, this is... Um, I guess the, the brand is Quinoa. And is that the brand? I'm assuming, right? Okay. But it's this brand. And it's Super Grain Pasta. Um, gluten free. So, um, this is spaghetti. So, like I said, I'll let you know. And I posted this on my Instagram and it feeded it through my Facebook. And a couple people commented and said it was really good. So, cool. And then I got her these veggie curls by the same um, brand. And I wanted to get her like some other noodles because she likes this little pasta. Um, meal I make her with tuna I have a video up here too how I make it with tuna and cream of mushroom in it so I wanted to make sure that I had um, you know another thing instead of just basic spaghetti I'm trying to afford our ingredients that are here saw it yesterday Okay, organic corn flour, organic quinoa flour, dried organic spinach, dried organic beets, and and or organic red bell pepper. So that's it. So those are, um, like I say, the items that I purchased this week. You know, trying new things. And as I try um, new items, I'll do a video let you know how it is, how it tastes, and how it's working for her. 
Um, so that's my video. And I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. If you have any um, gluten-free, wheat-free items that you use in your home, you have any children allergies, um, comment below. Let me know what you use. Do a video. And, um, I just found out that YouTube is doing away with video responses. So just you can leave a link to your video below. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.